And my dad always had this saying that he would say, the more you know, the more value you have. Entre más sabes, más valor tienes. I was labeled as an English learner. How it affected me was the lack of confidence. Removing you from the group, then you start asking these questions of why. Why me and why not them? There's that doubt, fear, that you're not good enough. I worked after school with the teacher. Um, I took an exam. I wasn't an English learner anymore. In high school, I was in the virtual enterprise class. I was an avid from junior high to high school. I realized that I wasn't on the college track because when I sat down with my counselor, I, he asked me, so what do you want to do after high school? And I said, I want to go to college. And he said, well, you don't have the classes that are required to apply. I said, well, what do I have to do? And he said, well, you're going to have to double up in science and math. And he said, I don't think this is a good idea. You know, you might set yourself up for failure. I said, nope, I can do it. And if you succeed, then well, your classes will change, you know, for the following year. Luckily, I had really good teachers that believed in me. One of my math teachers, actually, he gave me his seat because they didn't have any more seats. So he gave me his chair. And it's because they gave me that opportunity that I said, OK, Alhamdulillah, here's your ticket. The day came when I got accepted to a four-year university. Well, what do you mean you're going to move out of the house? What do you mean we're going to have, you didn't qualify for a lot of financial aid? We didn't plan for this. No, you, you don't leave the house until you get married. My hero until this day is my father. My dad went to City College, so he's like, you're going to go to City College. He walked me to the admissions office and we signed up for classes. I hated it. I had doubled up my math and science courses. I did all this to go to a four university and end up at City College. I was very miserable. I didn't want a job to control my life. There was many times where I felt that my parents cared more about work than me being a good student. I said no. My parents didn't have bad jobs. They were very decent jobs. I was in a, one of my social classes. Our professor did an exercise with around 200 students in that auditorium. And he said, I want everybody that have parents that graduated high school, please stand up. Parents that have PhDs, please stand up. And those two students that were sitting next to me, both of them stood up when they said, parents with PhDs, please stand up. And there, I remember saying, my parents did the same thing those parents with PhDs to get their students into that same classroom. And that's when it clicked. My parents did a really good job. One, I knew I didn't want to become a teacher because I couldn't have a student like me because I'm a handful, I know that. <laughs> I knew I wanted to become a counselor because counselors have the power determining a, a student's life after high school. I graduated from UCSB in 2006 and I remember um, walking towards my parents and looking at my parents and especially my dad because it was Father's Day and I, and I remember telling them we did it. And when I said we did it, they looked at me and they understood that I got it, that I, that I understood that it was, they were also working very hard for this moment. The fact that I was able to give back to my parents and having them in this prestigious college campus with other parents that were a lot more wealthier, a lot more educated, prepared, that in itself was a graduation for themselves, for, for my parents. Strong leader. Um, I don't take no for an answer. Uh, very driven, passionate. Uh, I have a strong sense of community, family. Yes, I am a badass. <laughs> I'm very proud of it.